to it. It wound up being the most covered song I've ever written, which uh, caught me by surprise. When I was doing my second album, I was prepared to do this song that uh, <clears throat> young Stevie Nicks had written. And, uh, you know, trying to score points with her. And, uh, unfortunately, she wasn't part of the production team on the second album. So, Lindsey Buckingham was, and Lindsey came in and said, uh, what are you doing? He said, song. He knew what the song was, you know. And so, uh, he basically said, I don't think you should do that song. Why don't you go home and write the closing song for your second album tonight? And it was uh, the middle of August, and uh, the summertime struck me as a uh, the best time to make music because in high school when I started playing in bands, the uh, summertime was when we played music constantly. And so uh, I went home and wrote a song that uh, we recorded the next morning out there at uh, Sound City. And uh, it became the most covered song I've ever written. It was a French version called Van de Levla. And then there was a Swedish version that they called Flat Summer Dog. And then there was a German version, a Japanese version. There was, a, there was even a hit version by a group called Night. And uh, in 2009, a guy named Eminem used it for his comeback single, uh, We Made You. And uh, that was a big surprise. I, uh, you know, Eminem used to just be my favorite candy. And then uh, all of a sudden, he was my favorite rapper. Summer 